going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Right guys, in today's video, what I'm gonna be doing is looking at some Palm Angels collections, okay? Now I've got a couple of bits of Palm Angels in because I have been looking at the brand and I do think some of the stuff that I've seen recently is quite nice. It's funny that because I think Palm Angels has got kind of more popular over the past year or so, especially with a lot of celebrities, artists, musicians and so forth, seem to be wearing the brand more and more and that's kind of been bringing the brand into the limelight. Brands like Palm Angels really remind me of streetwear brands like Heron Preston, Off-White, another brand which I think looks really cool called Rude. Palm Angels being a brand that has originated from the LA brings a lot of that kind of LA influence, especially with like the logos and that kind of oversized baggy fit, which really seems to be in at the moment. So what I want to do real quick is show you some of these Palm Angels bits that I've got in. I know lots of people have been asking. I put this up on our Facebook group and I asked the group if they wanted to see some reviews and they all said yes, so I managed to get some bits in, okay? And if you want to find more Palm Angels or top selections or more new brands that are popping up, it's always worth checking our website, thehoxandtrend.com. We've got lots of different finds on there for all different types of budget so whether you're on a 50 pound budget or a 1000 pound budget you'll find lots of bits on our website okay so listen without further ado let's get straight into it if you want to see more videos like this help the video to grow help the channel to grow make sure you like subscribe and also make sure you comment on the comments box below okay let's get into it two seconds so just to give you a little bit of information about Palm Angels, they were actually, the brand was actually founded by an Italian born photographer and art director called, called Francesco Ragazzi. Inspired by the skating subcultures of LA, they specialize in hoods, sweatshirts, and also distressed denim. Their style is meant to be effortless and kind of that kind of low key, casual, oversized look, which is a true, true representation of LA streetwear. Obviously this is the first piece of Palm Angels that I got in and it's this kind of like sweatshirt but with a basketball vest on the top of it. So it's like two tops in one. I think, I do think they're actually separate. So yeah, so it's like two separate tops. You've got the vest and a black t-shirt underneath, but I really like it. And obviously you've got the big Palm Angels logo, which I think is quite nice. Um, quality wise I think it does feel nice I, I thought it might feel a little bit more cheap or that it wouldn't be so well made now retail price I think for Palm Angels personally in my in my opinion I do think the stuff is quite expensive you're not really going to see so much technology in, in you know it's not it's not like Stone Island or Canada Goose when it comes to Palm Angels it is what it is it's just simple premium streetwear and obviously streetwear being really really popular at the moment the prices of streetwear clothing has just gone through the roof especially as you start looking at premium and more luxury brands but you know if you're looking for something that's a little bit different a little bit unique then palm angels could be something to look for i, I would say you can also check out the sales there's lots of sales going on at the moment you can find them on our website thehoxandtrend.com but there's lots of different sales going on for palm angels so if you want to find those get on the links on the description box below and i'll show you exactly where you can get some really cool deals okay right so that's the first piece let's look at the uh let's look at the next one right so this is the next palm angels bits that i've got in and it's like a nice sweat top so let me have a look at that right so i saw this and i thought this was really nice now what i've noticed about palm angels is they're quite oversized because that's kind of like the style so even like off-white a lot of their stuff is a little bit oversized it's kind of baggy fit this is a size l i'm usually a size m to l more trending towards the l now so i think that this size for me um fits quite good so if you're a size l then on the t-shirts you can probably go true to size but what i've noticed is on the on the sweaters they're quite big so this is a size is it large medium so this should fit what i've noticed is the size large is they're, they're quite big so if you're a large probably go down to a medium i'd say right so you know me i love sweats um first things first what i would say about this is just like off-white the quality is quite good it's a really thick cotton fleeced um sweat can you see these big thick kind of ribbed grooves on the inside of the uh, of the sweater that to me is like a sign that it's a really kind of thick well-made um sweater right a lot of people asking me when i put it up on the facebook they said they're looking for sweats and palm angels is something that they're kind of interested in now what you would notice with brands like off-white and palm angels and this other brand that i really like called rude is you're getting this type of oversized fit so if i put my arms up can you see the fit kind of they've kind of made this bit kind of stick out but that that is the look it's kind of this kind of oversized really relaxed casual look and i can just imagine being out in la you're just kind of chilling you know they don't really like tight clothing over there like that. Well, at least I don't think they do. But yeah, it's more kind of this kind of really relaxed type fit. So if you don't mind that, like I actually quite like this kind of relaxed type fit now, to be honest. I think it goes well, especially if you've got some nice kind of like slim fit jeans and a nice kind of oversized top. Now, when I say oversized, I don't mean too oversized. I don't mean massive like that Nike Alex 9SM um, 
jacket that I got in before. That was absolutely massive. That's that's way too big. So yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling it. I like this. I think it's quite nice. And I like the fact that it's a different type of fit than what I usually wear. Also the embroidery, um, well it's not embroidery, it's like a nice kind of heat print, but I can feel that the quality quality of this feels really good. Yeah, so overall, first first thoughts and opinions, it, it, it's quite nice. Again, back to price point, the stuff is really expensive. Um, can you get cheaper knits? Can you get cheaper sweaters? for less than this with an equal amount of quality. Yes, you can, most definitely. Like what I mentioned in my Gucci um, sweat, sweatshirt video, why the luxury hoodies are so expensive is, you know, you really just are kind of buying into the name. I mean, the good thing is that there is a degree of quality to this. The designs are nice. It is, it is really current and cool. But aside from that, there's nothing else to, to justify the price point apart from it just being a cool, a cool trending brand at the moment. Um, one thing that I do acknowledge about cool trending brands like this, it's very hard for them to have some real long, longevity. Um, sometimes you can get brands like this and they can be really cool and you pay the money now and then two to three to four years time the brand's not trending anymore and then you find tons of it on eBay and Depop for like cheap because people don't really want it and that happens sometimes. Whilst I'm here I thought I might as well talk about some of the detail that's inside the um, the item. This being Palm Angels, what I've noticed is that the kind of like hang neck cord on or the hang neck cord on the inside of the sweater here, the Palm Angels is actually sticks out a little bit. So there is a groove. So it's almost like it's been heat printed, guys. So remember when you're looking at the fakes, you, you probably won't really get that. It might just be a really cheap print. But if I rub my hand over this, like the Palm Angels, it literally kind of sticks up a little bit. So there's a bit of a groove. So what I'm saying is this bit feels real, real good quality. And on the counterfeits, which there's absolutely tons of counterfeits of Palm Angels. So be very careful buying from marketplaces. On the original, you can see that um, the quality of this Palm Angels print is really nice and it should raise up a little bit. So when you rub over it, you can feel the bump of the print, okay? I wanna show you real quick is the label on the inside. So it should be black like that. It's almost got a matte type finish to the label. So it, it feels quite thick and almost very slightly rubbery. So if you're looking for Palm Angels on the marketplaces, make sure to check the labels because I'm sure I will get some fake ones in to do a fake versus real, but I'm sure the labels won't be as good quality as this. And there's one, two, three labels. Now bearing in mind Palm Angels have been going on for a couple of years now, so the labels might have changed over the years but the current 2021 should have these nice black labels like that okay also another thing that i've noticed is that the card that it comes with is a little bit thick and it's got this kind of gold dust kind of sprinkle on the on the back of the card the palm angels if i rub my hand over that it is engraved as well so also check the cards um, if you're buying on marketplaces because I'm, I'm sure the quality won't be as good as these cards also it's a little bit thicker the card and then it's got gold all around the edges and it's got some sprinkled um, gold dust on the back of the card, okay? That might not be for all, that might not be for all Palm Angels. This is just for the new SS, this is for the new collections that have just come out recently. Um, labels do change over the years as a brand develops. So if you might see some older labels that are not like that, but current stuff, that's how the label should be, okay? Right, so this is the original bag Palm Angel stuff should come in. So it's almost like this kind of, I don't know, creamy type brownie bag with Palm Angels on the front. So if, if you're getting Palm Angels and it's not coming in this bag, then just, just bear in mind it could be a fake. Now again, saying that guys, this is new collection stuff, so I, I can't speak for what the older collections are, what, what the packaging and what the labels are like, because I haven't inspected those yet, but I will be trying to have a look. But yeah, new stuff should be in this type of bag, okay? Like a brownie, grey, creamy type colour. Right, so this is the t-shirt. To be honest with you, I, I, this is the one that I'm kind of really, I'm not overly excited about this. It, this literally, this one, this t-shirt here, it's just a plain t-shirt. There's nothing overly exciting for me about this t-shirt whatsoever. The t-shirt, I, I, I don't know about this one. I think if I'm gonna spend the money, I'm probably gonna get a sweater or something like that. Because if I'm gonna spend around about that, that type of money or near enough, then I want to feel like there's quality. This just feels like a normal t-shirt for me. I do not like spending big money on t-shirts myself. I will go to H&M, River Island, Nike, Adidas. That's where I'll get my t-shirts. Unless I see a t-shirt that I really, really, really like. Stuff like this, like t-shirts, like this type of stuff is, I wouldn't personally opt for it. I don't think it's worth the money. If it came for me trying time when I tried to sell it, I don't believe I'm going to get much money for it because t-shirts are just not that type of commodity, like a jacket. Um, where I think it's going to hold much value. So aside from it just looking cool, I, I, I think it's just all right to be honest. Right, so this is the next Palm Angels that I got in, which I thought was really nice, is this jumper. Um, same type of print on the front. 
with the palm angels and the logo and the palm tree. Yeah, again, quality is really nice. Remember I was telling you about the material, you can see those nice thick grooves where you turn your sweatshirts inside out and you see nice thick grooves like that, you know that this is a good, well-made sweatshirt and it feels heavy and durable that's exactly how i like my sweatshirts to be right this is it this is the um hoodie guys now bearing in mind this is a large i've just had to order myself a medium because the large is way too big typically i would be a large but you can see look it's quite biggy it's a little bit too oversized it's not really complimenting my shape i mean it's okay but it's a bit too big i like oversized but i don't want it to be too oversized because that's just going to be too much for me quality wise it feels really nice um i like the logo I like the I like the fit of it. Again, that's that same kind of box fit that I was talking about, where the the, um, the arm seam comes down really low, and that's what kind of gives it this this kind of hang on the arm that you can see there. But I I, I kind of like that. I think it's quite cool. It it feels really comfy and relaxed and no stress. I think if you're a large, I'd personally maybe go to an M just to downsize it a little bit so it's not too big. But that that's your choice. That is the uh, that is the hoodie. There are so many fakes there's way more fakes than there are original palm angels and brands like heron preston brands like off-white and palm angels have just been annihilated and that's really because the designs and everything is just really kind of simple you know it's not it's not overly complicated stuff so i guess for the counterfeiters it's just really really easy to uh, to replicate unfortunately guys that is it that is it for the video i hope you found it useful i hope you found it informative if you want to see more different brands leave a link on the comments box below let me know what type of brands you want to see don't forget to go and follow our facebook group where you can get lots of help with buying and selling online or if you get in trouble with depop or paypal or whatever it is come onto the group create a post and speak to the community and they will help you out okay i'm out of here peace out